On today's video, we are gonna do a gingerbread and peppermint pinwheel taste test. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. I am dying to try these pods. So we're gonna taste test them today. I'm gonna bring you guys along so you guys can see my thoughts. And I'm gonna keep an open mind. I said in that video, a lot of you guys think these pods you either really like them or you guys don't really care too much for them so i don't know what to think it has been a while since i did a taste test so if you guys are new here i typically do my taste test drinking them without milk at first which is straight black it's not my preferred method to drink my coffee that way but i just want to give you guys a full like thorough taste test and then i add milk without sugar and then lastly we'll add some sort of sweetener at the end to see how the coffee overall tastes with everything so Let's get started. We're gonna start first with peppermint pinwheel. Okay, so this is the box right here. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Very pretty box. I love to see what they came up with as far as boxes and then like how the pod looks like. I've seen this one last year. I don't remember if I tried it. So yeah, it looks, the, the packaging looks similar to previous years. Like I said, I don't remember ever trying this one, but I do remember seeing it back then, way before I had like my YouTube channel based on coffee. And I just never tried it, I don't think so. So this is it right here. And then just briefly explaining what the box says. This one's a half-calf too. It's a decaffeinated roast blend. It says the ingredients are decaffeinated roast and ground coffee, roast and ground coffee, natural flavor. I remember the pumpkin one saying, it was a half decaffeinated and then half something else. This one says decaffeinated roast and ground coffee. Okay, so maybe it's a half cap. That's what it sounds like, or am I just being confused? I don't know why they don't advertise them as what they are. Because if you don't read the box, then you don't know that you're drinking a decaf. So just thought I'd mention that. And then... It says that the peppermint flavor comes to life in this smooth Arabica blend of Ethiopian, Central, and South American coffees with a distinctive sweet note character characteristic of a peppermint candy. It says insider tip with the addition of a dash of milk, the lingering notes of peppermint soften to achieve a well-balanced milky cup. So right off the bat, it sounds like if you drink it black, then you pretty much can get all the pepperminty notes. But once you add milk, it looks like it just becomes a milky cup of coffee, whereas the peppermint kind of softens. And from my experience, after adding the milk, most likely the peppermint is completely gone. They say soften, but I don't know. I can see it going away. So we'll see. That's why I like pairing these type of like capsules with their corresponding syrups because it amps up the flavor. Well, we shall see but at least i'm expecting to taste some sort of pepperminty something without milk so let's let's brew it i'm gonna use my santa mug i got this one from anthropology it sold out online but i found it in stores about two weeks ago so some of your stores might have some too okay so here is my cup i'm gonna mix the crema into the coffee. I don't really like tasting the crema on its own. I think it's very bitter, but we'll just give it a good mix before I try it. And when it's brewing, oh, even in my nose right now smelling it, you can actually smell some mintiness to it. Okay, let me smell it. Yes, definitely, definitely catch a whiff of mintiness peppermint so let's try it and it's not that strong the scent but as, but as it's passing through my nose it feels very cooling so that's nice all right let's try it okay it's there the second sip you definitely gather i guess more peppermint notes in your mouth it's good but i can see okay it's really good just black the mintiness is very very like subtle but it's there like i could see myself and now that i'm thinking about it i can see myself enjoying this in the evening when it's nice and chilly outside and i need something cozy peppermint always feels like it's very nice and relaxing to drink especially at night 
So I think that I'm gonna enjoy this without milk. I have a feeling, I have a hard feeling that the peppermint is just gonna go completely away once I add milk. Um, but the fact that it's a decaf or half-calf, some type of decaffeinated beverage, I think is nice for the evening. So, and the intensity of the roast is very delicate. So I think that's why it's making me, um, like allowing me to drink it really nicely. It almost feels like there's milk in there. That's how light it is. Very nice. Okay, let's add some milk. I'm gonna do 2% only because I've been slacking I usually have to get my two, my oat milk from a specific store here and I have to drive further and I haven't had time. So I just have been buying 2% milk. Let me get that, that's how we're gonna try it. And it'll be a dash because that's what it says on the box. I, run, I wanna try exactly how they're recommending it. It just says pro tip or insider tip, a dash of milk. The lingering notes of peppermint soften to achieve a well-balanced milky cup. So I'm gonna do a dash of milk. I'm not even gonna froth it, I'm just gonna, whoop, hold on. Just a little bit, a dash. Let's get a spoon. It tastes the same to me, but I honestly didn't add a lot of milk. Should I add more? I'm gonna add a little more. <laughs> It's not quite the half cup that I usually add, but it has a nice color. If you guys know what I'm talking about, like, you know, you'll go get a coffee at Starbucks or Dunkin' and the shade's not right. The shade looks all right to me. I'll, I'll record the shade so you guys can see how much, what it looks like. That's the shade of coffee with the milk. Honestly, just a dash. I feel like it tastes weaker without with the milk. So if I this is this is new, it, the way I'm gonna know the way I'm gonna enjoy it is definitely just black with maybe the mint syrup from Pink Cow's Alchemy, which is what I'm gonna try next. But with the milk, I feel like it tastes very bland, just bland. It honestly, just like the box says, it's a milky cup. If that makes any sense. I can still taste and more so smell the peppermint, but it's very, very light now, so. Okay, so for sweetener, I'm gonna do Pink House Alchemy Winter Mint if you want a boost of peppermint flavor for your coffee. I think I'm gonna do just a little bit that much. And see, okay, I'm not even drinking it, but that, that, that syrup, guys, if you definitely want a very pepperminty coffee, can even add chocolate to this. That syrup is, is gonna definitely boost your pod. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay, so here are my complete thoughts on this pod. I probably won't repurchase it until next year. I can see myself repurchasing it next time around for the holidays, at least maybe one sleeve, um, just to enjoy it at night, get cozy, drink something minty. I think that's nice. Drink it black with a little bit of winter mint syrup and I think you're golden. I honestly don't even think I need milk with this one, which is surprising for me to say, but it's not bad. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. I have, um, I think two boxes that I got. So I think I'm okay with that. And like I said, next time around, I'll probably just buy one to last me through the winter and that's it. Last but not least, the gingerbread. I think, I thought it was called gingerbread spice, but it's just called gingerbread. Here's the box. Very similar to peppermint. It's just um, red, orangey colors. This one's not. This one's a fully caffeinated pod. Thank goodness. It says it's a ginger flavored with other natural flavors. Barista Creations gingerbread. The gingerbread flavor runs through our smooth base blend of Latin American and African Arabicas. That spicy taste is a warm complement to the coffee's rounded cereal notes. I love cereal note coffee pods. Adding a dash of milk enlivens that ginger, ginger flavor all the more. So this one is hinting that it'll amp up the ginger flavor with milk. Interesting. Let's open it up. Very, very festive. 
super cute. All right, and obviously it's a so I don't know if I told you guys, I don't know if I said that one, but I'm sure you guys all know that the peppermint, peppermint one is also a seven ounce pot, as is this one. I'm gonna use my fa -la, 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 la cup. I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Again, I think it's sold out on store, uh, online, but check your local stores. mug has the hole both sides with the print so i can hold it however i want I keep stepping on these things all right so let's smell it oh i could definitely smell the gingerbread like the spiciness it almost smells sweet that's interesting okay oh let's use my little gingerbread spoon for this one i'm gonna mix the whole like crema into the coffee a little spoon like it's a little bitter let's try it i could definitely taste the spice that was a little bitter It's not bad. It tastes, it doesn't, I know their barista creations don't have a intensity level for some reason, but it tastes like a level eight, I would say. I'd say it's a definite like solid medium roast, almost kind of gearing into like a darker roast. Although that might be the, the spiciness that I'm tasting. It does definitely taste spicy. I don't think I'm enjoying this one just black. I can taste the notes and it's just like the pumpkin pod. I can taste the notes, but for some reason I'm craving this to be like a lot sweeter. Obviously I'm gonna add syrup, but I feel like I need that milkiness, but still not lose the flavor. So hopefully, like the box says, it'll amp up the ginger flavor. Because it's there, I'm not gonna deny it. It's definitely there. Let's get some milk. And I'm just double checking because this one also says adding a dash of milk enlivens that ginger. Okay, so a dash of milk. I typically add about a half a cup of milk to these bigger pots. And I'm starting to think I should lower that amount. I don't know. I guess it's personal preference, but I want to follow what they say. I'm not going to froth. I'm not going to froth my dash of milk. I'm just going to pour it in. It'll be a nice dash. Right there. Let's mix it all in. Okay, let's give this a taste. I feel like the first sip always, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like everything's gone. Oh, I could. I could taste something. It's extremely faint. You know, if I had no idea, this is all I'm gonna say. If I had no idea that this was a gingerbread pot and you just gave me this cup of coffee without me knowing what it is, I'd say I'm, I'm gonna enjoy this cup. Um, do I taste ginger flavor? No, not after adding all that milk. a tiny bit like again so if i was not told what i was given i would say that there is some some sort of like distinct flavor to this coffee i would say maybe i thought that you might have added something it's not sweet but i'm like i would probably think that there was some sort of flavor added to it um but i wouldn't necessarily like think that it's substantial it's very faint. I'm going to say it's still there, but it's very, very faint. So with this one, I'm almost tempted to use... It tastes good, though, with milk. Unlike the peppermint one, with the milk, I wasn't really enjoying it. This one, again, if you have an open mind, I have no, <laughs> I no idea what you're drinking. It tastes really good. The coffee strength is there. Um, I like the coffee flavor even after adding the milk. But I wouldn't say that it's like strong in that ginger bread flavor it's a tad spicy but not too much what i'm gonna do is add a little bit of the pink house alchemy 
ginger syrup and that's probably how i'll drink it going forward because it's not a bad pot the strength is really nice so let me get that syrup put it in my milk away i'll be right back Woo! you guys sorry i almost fell i have never tried the gingerbread syrup from torani i think my sister has my i know she's tried one so i don't know if it's the monin one or the torani one that she enjoyed but she's tried one and she loves it um i've never tried any but uh, Pink House Alchemy sent me this syrup and it is so good. I am like using it up. So I'm gonna try a little bit of this. I've even combined this one with the Monin um, Spice Brown Sugar Syrup. You could do like one tablespoon of each. So good. And I've, I've done that combination with just like regular like Melozio coffee or even like Odazio and they're good. So let's see what it'll be about half a tablespoon i'd say i poured give it a little mix oh it smells so good with that syrup all right let's try it. yeah i like this this is really good this syrup obviously is helping this pot a lot like i said with milk you can still kind of taste a little bit of um like spice but it's not a heavy like spice flavor once you got this ginger syrup, it's really good. It almost tastes like that gingerbread latte that I made over on Instagram. I think I shared it here too in like a shorts version, but it's very similar. You can even top this with a little bit of ginger, like ground ginger, a little bit of cinnamon as a topper, and it'd be nice. Those are my thoughts on these two pods. What about you guys? If you already tried it, which I'm sure you guys have because I am definitely late to the game, if you already tried peppermint or gingerbread what are your thoughts on both of these am i similar to what you guys are thinking and if you already tried them maybe try it this way these syrups guys are bomb.com they're a little bit more expensive like the pink house alchemy syrups they're a bit more expensive but they're made with better ingredients they're smaller batch syrups so they're they taste a lot fresher you're supposed to refrigerate these because they last longer or they're just recommended to and these will be good until 2023 if refrigerated so yeah oh i'll put my code down in the description box for those you can this is not a sponsored video they did send those to me but they don't even know that i'm making this video so i just want to share with you guys because those are really nice syrups but either way let me know your thoughts on these pods and i can't wait to use these in future reels so that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.